good to go. Sounds wonderful. All right, so uh, this is my puzzle box final presentation. Um, as you guys already saw. <laughs> so uh, the aesthetic that I was really going for is I wanted a kind of a timeless and geometric aesthetic for my puzzle box. And I had a few inspirations for that. Uh, as you can see on the picture on the right, that's kind of the look that I'm going for. I really like the glossy lacquered wood look uh, with brass accents, which is, um, they're very traditional materials. They've been around for a really long time. And then much like this end table, I wanted to make it a bit more modern in design and a bit more minimalist. A lot of the puzzle boxes that I found, uh, like the Japanese puzzle box in the bottom left, um, they're very complex and they're also uh, very, very detailed, very complex and very square. So I really wanted to embrace minimalist design and fully embrace uh, the contour bias and make sure that everything is round, smooth, and uh, very glossy. Uh, other part about my aesthetic is I really wanted to experiment with geometric designs and uh, I settled on one that looked really good without being too uh, over the top. Other materials and construction. Um, sadly, I did not have enough time to make this and uh, looking at it, it's probably a bit too ambitious for my skills at the moment, but uh, what you would need to make this is uh, wood and brass stock. Uh, I'm thinking walnut or cherry would be preferred because I like the, the color of it and I really like how they look when stained. Um, and of course you need lacquer and then just common woodworking tools, saws, hammers, chisels, sandpaper, a hacksaw for the brass. Uh, brass is a fairly soft metal so you don't need anything uh, too fancy to work with it. Uh, glue and then uh, finished nails to hold everything together. So uh, this is the final design that I came up with. Uh, it's a completely round design. And then there are a few specifications I had. Uh, the first is I wanted to have two different drawers. Um, you can see the one that's open and then there's one exactly mirrored on the opposite side that looks exactly the same. And then there are uh, four rotating rings on the top of the box and that is our combination. Uh, one of the rings actually is a dummy ring. Just for aesthetics, I thought it looked better with four, but it didn't work out for the locking mechanism. So one doesn't do anything, but three actually lock and uh, they engage these locking pins that you can see on the left here and stop the drawers from opening. Um, I also made a point to make sure that everything for the box was symmetrical. So uh, the drawer is exactly one quarter of the circle. The drawers are the same size and uh, all the rings are exactly the um, one fifth of the um, radius of the circle. So everything's very symmetrical, uh, very uh, consistent throughout the entire puzzle box. And that was one of the big design points for me. And then lastly, I wanted to make sure that each of the drawers had a different combination. I was running into the problem where you'd get one combination and then you just rotate it 180 degrees and then the other drawer would unlock. And I didn't like that. So uh, I made it a point to make sure that there are different combinations for each drawer. So to demonstrate that, I'll show you the SOLIDWORKS model because it's a bit easier. Um, this is the box. And if we uh, take a cutaway of it from the top, we can see these locking rings. So um, we have these locking rings and they're attached to the, the top surface. And in each of the locking rings, there are two grooves. One of the grooves is for one drawer and one of the grooves is for the other drawer. So when we rotate them around, uh, we can line them up with our little uh, locking peg. And if we do it right, all the rings should line up and our drawer comes out nice and easy. So the key aspect of this design uh, that I came up with is uh, it's off-centered. Uh, these pegs are a little bit off-centered. So our second ring, as you can see, uh, won't actually work. This one is slightly skewed, so it makes it uh, bind and the drawer won't actually open. However, when you rotate it to the other side, it is a perfect match for the other drawer and we can get two separate combinations um, with, without too much effort. Uh -huh. And I think that's about it. Um, that, that was the big aspects of the design. Um, and I'm ready if you guys have any questions. Kind of short, but that was that was a whole box. <laughs>